Welcome to our channel, this is Douglas. Few days ago, I had found a new combination to form a good battery when I was surfing on the web. The paper editor had pointed out that the new combination is not only is the battery low cost, but it's resistant to fire and failures and can be charged very fast, which could make it useful for powering a home or charging electric vehicles. First three main ingredients in the new battery are aluminum, sulfur and salt. These ingredients seem to be very easy to find in my workshop. Unfortunately, sulfur is out of stock. Let's see how we deal with it. Luckily, I find a bottle of algae cleaner for my fish tank. It contains sodium sulfate and it is the inorganic compound with formula Na2SO4, as well as several related hydrates. All forms are white solids that are highly soluble in water. It is easy to make an electrolyte. Let's start to work. First, we need to prepare an aluminum tube for the battery body. The aluminum tube needs to be polished and dust removed, while it requires surface treatment to increase surface area. Second, we take about 10 g of algae cleaner powder into the beaker. Pour around 30 ymentas of distilled water. For mixing well, I use Ultra Sound Mixer to blend it well until no more small pieces and crystals. After preparation of the solution, we are going to put some carbon powder into the solution. You can see it becomes paste when you put more and more carbon powder. Don't put too less or too much carbon powder. Just keep it good in fluidity. Now we're going to build the cap for battery with old microscope parts. Fix the position for casting. Cut some zinc alloy for casting. Polish inner section of aluminum tube to increase surface area and remove the alumina for higher conductivity. Insert a graphite bar for anode and mount it well with the cap. Put a screw for cathode. Conduct 
several charge-discharge cycles with a low current density to activate the electrode interfaces. After several times charge-discharge cycles, it has little bit higher voltage than the beginning. We still need to conduct more time-to-time -time experiment to check its density and capacity. We have little bit disappoint to the outcome. It is far behind to the expectation due to the low voltage and low power density. We will review the shortcomings and try to improve it next time. Hey, hey, hey Douglas, what are you doing? Don't put it into the bin. You say we will improve it next time. Happy time is run out quickly, that's end of today. I am here to thank you for your watching this demonstration. Hope you enjoy. Please like and subscribe my channel. See you again.